on Vaticano this week. So we get an exclusive tour of the Domus Dei Laboratories, where religious sisters and lay colleagues are ensuring that places of prayer are filled with sacred art. You're watching Vaticano. Here in an industrial park outside Rome is this jewel. It's Domus Dei Laboratories, where art and faith are joined by fire. One of the aspects of our charism, of our activities, and, if you will, of the mission of the Church, is precisely that of evangelizing with art, making custom-fit garments for the people of God that celebrates within the Church. And recently, the congregation acquired this structure, Domus Dei, which is a mixture of workshops collected together in a single structure. There is the artistic foundry, which is composed of the modeling department and thus the part where the artists realize their work, guided by us for liturgical and theological support. Then, there's the department of stained glass, that of mosaics, that of restoration of artworks. Some of them were formed here from the time they were young, so they acquired the technical and professional know-how Ideas can be realized with the sensitivity and the passion that is typical of artists. You can see the work of art be grown here, from its conception to its completion. We can take a walk through our laboratories so we can see concretely how the works of art are imagined and realized, little by little. This is the modeling department. We can see here how a sculpture is born. In practice, an internal skeleton is constructed out of metal. It's a structure that simulates the skeleton and on the outside, clay is packed. As the clay is placed on the outside, it is modeled. Here we see a model, and we can see that this will be the final result of a life-size sculpture. Here we see a replica of the Pietà, a variation of Michelangelo's work at St. Peter's Basilica. So this is the Pietà revisited, following some of the suggestions of the patron who asked for the variation from the original. It's already in the final phase of completion. Pictures are taken at various stages in its creation and shared with the patron so they can share in the production process. The next stage after modeling is that of creating the form, which we will see in adjoining departments. This is the first step in the lost wax bronze technique. Under the layers you see is the original sculpture from the artist. We're covering it with various layers of silicon rubber. Little by little, the technicians increase the thickness of the rubber on top, of which will be placed a type of rigid shell made of resin that will create a perfect negative of the original. On the negative, the model that we saw being made earlier, a layer of wax is laid, which is of the same thickness as the eventual bronze. These wax channels are where the fused bronze will flow into the entire surface of the sculpture. On the wax, this material, which is a composite of refractory and plaster, is packed. It reinforces the wax. Here we see the wax channels, which will be united into a single point. From that juncture, the fused bronze will enter the mold. Now we're going into the foundry area where we'll see the fusion of the forms that were cooked. Now 
adesso possiamo vedere eh, Now we can see the bronze after the form has been removed. È stato scassettato, ossia liberato dalla parte It's been freed from the refractory part in a separate department and brought here to the office where the technicians cut it, polish it, and they take out the extra pieces that were used for the fusion. Che sono serviti. Later, after a first cut that was done in another department, they are brought in for the first polishing to then finish with the final product that you see over there that is totally polished. In this department, we make stained glass and mosaics. The artist begins with the idea that has been created in a sketch which is often made on a smaller scale. Then, it is enlarged to the actual size. That stage is called the cartoon. From there, it goes on to be superimposed on a transparent sheet. On this are all of the lines that will eventually be the lead lines that will separate the pieces of glass. The glass will be colored and blown by mouth, using the ancient method of blown glass. And then it will be painted and heat treated. We've seen that the artist used the design of the work on a transparency from the cartoon. This transparency is used once again on a piece of cardboard that we see here already cut, which will set the limits which will then serve to cut the glass to measure. This process is aided by a pair of three-bladed scissors that leaves a space the width of the lead line. As this portrait is a figurative depiction of Our Lady with Child, it will also be necessary to employ paint. I take the glass and put it on the cartoon and I begin to paint. It's a long brush, which serves almost as a deposit for the paint. The next phase is heat treatment. These pieces of glass are placed in the oven and brought to a temperature of 600 degrees Celsius so that the paint becomes one with the glass. We see an example of the cooked glass here. For the artistic phase, after the glass is out of the oven, the technical phase begins. It consists of the preparation of the lines of lead that will serve to assemble the different pieces of glass. La bellezza della vetrata the beauty of stained glass depends also on the manual execution of all of the steps. By making them manually, panes can be better made. So many artists are already prepared for an industrial product, which will never be of the same quality as that made using artisan techniques. Here we see the stained glass already assembled with the lead lines. The point of soldering is to join where two pieces of lead come together. We've moved on to the mosaic department. In this case, we're creating a reproduction of a classic work from the 1800s, which is destined for Poland. As you can see, we began with the photograph of the work. Then, we enlarge the work in a cartoon, making appropriate connections. The cartoon was placed over the work table, although right now it is invisible. And then on the cartoon we place this netting, which is made of fiberglass and supports the entire surface of the mosaic. The mosaic artist, Antonio, is now making the design with a classic cut. That is, the pieces of glass are already prepared and cut into pieces that measure one inch a piece. It's called the classic cut. On the netting we saw earlier, the pieces are set with a strong glue made for this process.